Hey again, this is Callum from Termage Chester, and today I'm sampling a bowl of Davidoff Malawi, uh, which is a mix of mature uh, Malawi Burley, Flu Cured Virginia, and Danish Dark Cavendish with a lovely vanilla casing. Uh, this is actually the first bowl I've ever had of this, so it's quite a nice experience for me to try. I love my job, by the way. Um, and it's really surprising. Um, it's not what I'd normally associate with Davidoff. Uh, I tend to associate them with the more traditional English or Balkan style mixes, or just natural tobacco tasting tobacco. Uh, but in this case, it's much more akin to the more modern style of case aromatic, hence the vanilla topping. Uh, if I was comparing it to anything, I'd say it's more like a Scandinavian style aromatic in that the casing is quite uh, noticeable, but it's not too overwhelming. Uh, it's clearly vanilla. Uh, do get a little hint of other things, a little bit of butterscotch, a little bit like cakey or almost like pastry y underneath that. Um, but mostly it is quite clearly a vanilla blend. Um, uh, with it being more like a Scandinavian style, it doesn't mean that it's completely overriding the taste of the tobacco as well. Uh, you do get quite a nice taste the tobacco as well. The dark Cavendish really taking the forefront out of the tobacco taste in there with its classic brown sugary smooth and mellow taste. Um, and it is nice you can tell it's good quality tobacco as well. I do find in some of the um, some of the heavy aromatics it's almost like they're masking the taste of the tobacco like they don't really care about the taste of the tobacco it's just all about whatever casing they're putting on it but in this case each type each bit of flavour comes through in equal parts give you a really nice combination. Um, so, as I've said with previous blends, this would be quite a nice interim tobacco. If you normally smoke uh, unflavoured stuff, want to try something with a little bit of flavouring that's not going to compromise the taste of the tobacco, it would be good. Or similarly, if you normally smoke the heavier aromatic styles but want to lean more towards or gradually work towards something that's more tobacco-y, this would be a nice middle ground for you. But all in all, it's something that you might, might not quite expect from a blender that is really, really tasty. Uh, if you do want to try it, it's available as always at termos.co.uk. Uh, if you do try it, hope you like it. Let us know what you think. And if you like my ramblings, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.